In the planet's 4.5 billion year history, several supercontinents have formed and broken up as a result of churning and circulation in the Earth's mantle. In 2017, geologists announced the discovery of Zealandia, which had been hiding in South Pacific Ocean. Zealandia has a total land area of around 4.9 million square kilometers. This is roughly six times Madagascar's actual size and area. Apart from New Zealand, the continent includes islands such as New Caledonia and other Australian territories. It was first said to have been discovered in 1642 by Dutch businessman and sailor Abel Tasman, who was desperate to uncover the great southern continent. Zealandia is a term coined by geophysicist Bruce Lindyk in 1995. So how was the Zealandia formed? Almost all the continents were in the southern hemisphere during the early Phanerozoic aeon with Gondwana extending from the south pole to the equator. The Pentalassic Ocean dominated the northern hemisphere. A massive collision occurred around 320 million years ago when Gondwana, Laurasia and intervening tarins combined to form the Pangaea supercontinent. Pangaea is the most recent supercontinent on the earth. Subsequently, Gondwana, which is now Africa, South America, Antarctica, India and Australia, broke from Laurasia, that is Eurasia and North America. Later around 150 million years ago, Gondwana disintegrated. Zealandia was also formerly part of Gondwana. 8 million years ago, the landmass that was to become New Zealand broke away from Gondwana, splitting away from Australia and Antarctica. through the sea flow spreading of the Tasman Sea tectonic separation split off an area about 10 times the size of present day New Zealand a continental fragment called Zealandia in the last 5 million years Zealandia has generally been subsiding today it is 94% submerged how did Zealandia end up underwater it lies on the boundary between two tectonic plates the Australian plate and the Pacific plate The Australian plate is moving north while the Pacific plate is moving west. This created friction between the tectonic plates resulting in oceanic continental convergence. The collision pushed the dense oceanic crust under the lighter continental crust, a process called subduction. Later, Zealandia sank further due to the activity from the Pacific Ring of Fire. How did it re-emerge? A strike slip fault brought this weakened continental crust and the denser oceanic crust from the Australian plate side by side. According to the new results, Zealandia's upheaval may have resulted from the re-energizing of an earlier site of widespread crustal rupture with the Pacific plate subsequently subducting westward beneath Zealandia. So now the question arises, is Zealandia the eighth continent of the world? The study says there are four criteria that a landmass needs to meet before it's called a continent. These are high elevation relative to the regions flowed by oceanic crust, a broad range of siliceous, igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary rocks, thicker crustal and lower seismic velocity structure than oceanic crustal regions, and well-defined limits around a large enough area to be considered a continent. Zealandia meets the first three criteria and it has well defined limits of a large landmass of 4.9 million square kilometers it therefore merits the label continent here you might be thinking what is the difference between supercontinent and continent the term supercontinent denotes one continental landmass that consists of all or most of the continental blocks of the earth pangaea laurasia and Gondwana are all examples of supercontinents whereas a continent is generally defined as a vast landmass differentiated from other landmasses by the oceans Asia Africa and Europe are examples of the continents so that's all for the video i hope you found it informative thank you for watching